the it's 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 the first time in history where homeowners, uh, business owners, uh, can can have the option to produce their own electricity. And Hello, and welcome to Doing Business Right, hosted by Dr. Brian Rea. This is a weekly conversation for business leaders and entrepreneurs who have an invested interest in doing business right. Here is your host, Dr. Brian Rea. Hello and welcome. This is to Doing Business Right as part of the Bridge Business Media. My name is Dr. Brian Rea and I'll be your host today. As an entrepreneur and small business owner in Northwest Arkansas, I want to help connect our business community together to, through collaboration and networking. Doing Business Right is a podcast aimed at helping new and established small business owners, as well as those who may be thinking about entrepreneurship. We do this by sharing our stories and insights from local business people to encourage strong and efficient small business growth. So before I get started today, I got a couple of things. First of all, my last episode, I had Antonia Bush from Express Employment Professionals. If you haven't met Antonia, you need to go find this woman. She is incredible. She is fun and she's a super knowledgeable and wants to help our community and small business owners. So make sure you go find Antonia Bush or go check out that episode because it was a great one. Next is up. So I do have my business, DBR Bookkeeping, and I am looking for clients. I am open to, uh, for clients here the, uh, this summer when I'm recording this, um, especially in the service-based industries, photographers, designers, cleaning businesses, personal trainers, beauty services, coaches, and like that in the service-based uh, industries. I would love to talk to you and just see how I can help with your booking needs. So let's get into this type of show. I'm really excited to have my friend here, Kevin Bathke from Good Faith Solar. How are you doing today, Kevin? Excellent, excellent. Staying dry. Right? Yes, yes. It's a rainy day here in Northwest Arkansas. Uh, you know, and I, I can, we'll be talking about weather because, you know, obviously it's solar. Uh, Good Faith Solar. But, man, it's like uh, trying to figure out Northwest Arkansas weather is like, I am so glad I'm not a meteorologist. I'm oh, yeah. just trying to figure out because one day it's sunny and then it's, you know, 30 minutes later it's storming. Or if it's, um, uh, I think it was like storming here in Fayetteville, but if you go up to yeah. Rogers, it's yeah. totally fine. Exactly. <laughs> it's like, you know, how do you plan to do anything around you? Wait a few minutes. <laughs> yeah, wait a few minutes, right? You wait a few minutes, like, oh, well, that's what I did. Yeah. So anyways, I'm super excited to have you and talking about, you know, kind of solar industry and what you're doing for North Central Arkansas uh, community. So let's get into it, Kevin. So I want to share a little bit about your background and how you've got here. Yeah, sure, absolutely, and thank you, uh, yeah, so much for the invite. I know Antonio's a, a tough, uh, tough act to follow. Up. She, <laughs> she's amazing, so I uh, appreciate uh, appreciate being on here. And uh, my background is a uh, is a little different in in an unrelated field. Yet mm-hmm. I find a lot of a uh, lot of connections, and that's uh, my background is in education, being a teacher. Yeah. Uh, so I. Um, I have my uh, graduate degree, my master's degree in English education and applied linguistics. I taught uh, English to language learners uh, in Puerto Rico, in Argentina, and that would, that encompassed from elementary uh, students up through uh, university level and even some wow. private tutoring. Awesome. Um, yeah, that's what my uh, my background um, is in, and that. Uh, I, I, I have a lot of connections there and just the, the approach that I take mm-hmm. in, in my business now and in terms of education for yeah. our clients. Very, very cool. Mm-hmm. And so that kind of brought you into the solar industry. So um, what what kind of got you into the solar industry? Yeah, so I have been in Argentina for five years. Uh, my now wife had had moved there since she was a little girl. And uh, when we moved from Argentina to the uh, to the States, it was just before the pandemic. Mm. And so we moved up here, we moved to Arkansas, where my folks had been for about a decade or so. And uh, well, when the pandemic hit, it certainly changed yeah, a lot of the industry. Everything. Yeah, yeah. And especially teaching oh, and, 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 sure. and education. Uh, so around that time uh, came an opportunity to uh, uh, get into the renewable energy industry. Uh, which is just something that had always, uh, you know, fascinated me. Mm. And, you know, there's more and more of it in the news and, and, uh, just be- became a, a unique thing. And, uh, you know, why not uh, pursue that? And so, so got uh, started in that just before the flipping in. Very cool. Well, I know a lot of my guests, my show, a lot of people we've talked to, it's just amazing how 
the pandemic just changed our lives. Whether you, I've heard a lot of career changes, a lot of like changes in, they did have a business, but they had a shift because of the pandemic um, in there. Uh, I myself, you know, I have a teaching education background myself as a, as a former professor. And again, I was teaching during the pandemic. And again, that made me kind of think about the world and yeah. life and what do I want to do and how I can contribute. Um, but, you know, I beat me from California and where a lot of like solar industry talks have been there for a very long time. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's been a, and I've always been fascinated by the solar industry. So I remember when I met you, you know, in networking, I was like, Ooh, I was, you know, the solar guy, you know? Um, but I, but I, uh, even though, I've heard about it for years. I'm sure our audience has heard about it for years. But what is solar? Let's just, say, just bring it out real simple. What is the solar industry and what you're doing? Yeah, absolutely. I, I think that's a great question. It's uh, it's really a unique time in history because what solar is is just an alternative source of electricity. And uh, so, uh, you know, our parents, our grandparents, just generations, we've only had the utility provider mm-hmm. uh, providing that electricity. Uh, but now with the uh, growth in renewables and technology, you know, it's the, it's, it's, it's the first time in history where homeowners, uh, business owners uh, can, can have the option to produce their own electricity. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, this is something, and, and as, um, as I'm, I'm sure you know, it started in California uh, a bit before it kind of got its yeah. roots in Arkansas. We, we It's kind of been really kicked off in Arkansas about 2018, 2019. Yeah. So we're still... Uh, it's still relatively new. Yeah, it's still relatively new here. And uh, and so it just is 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 an option for some it won't be a good fit for for everyone for every home and business but uh but it's an option that just hasn't uh hasn't uh happened uh before so it gives uh gives a unique opportunity to produce your own energy uh if, if it's a fit yeah and as and as most basic sense you're basically using solar energy like the, the power of the sun yeah Right. Um, with our, you know, kind of, again, the technology is still evolving mm. and still getting better and better mm-hmm. of taking that solar energy and basically with it converting it or, or, you know, into stored electricity. Yeah. So that you can power your home, you can power your appliances, you can power, you know, exactly. um, whatever it may be. Um, and especially me being from California where electricity can be just crazy expensive. And I think that's across the country. I have friends who have had, you know, bills, well, monthly, monthly electric mm-hmm. bills in like the hundreds, even thousands mm-hmm. of dollars of course. in one month. Yeah. You know, because of like maybe heavy AC use or it's a large house and, you know, and they just want to keep it at a certain temperature at all the time. And it's like, it's a, it's, it can be a huge expense um, mm-hmm. with that. I know, um, and with this emerging technology, you know, our, I know our government has got into kind of like these conversations and Todd's. And I wanted to ask you, you mentioned kind of like some things that have kind of evolved here recently yeah. in Arkansas policy. What what do you know about that? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, kind of two main components uh, when talking about policy is there's the uh, federal tax credit side. Mm-hmm. And then at the uh, more state level and local level is what's called net metering. Which allows any uh, any uh, uh, solar producer, home business, to uh, put excess energy, excess electricity back to the grid and be credited for that. Mm. And okay. uh, so uh, California is now on what's called net metering 3.0. So they've already gone through <laughs> a couple of iterations of it. Yeah. And we're now here in Arkansas about to experience that first iteration to net metering 2.0. Uh, so what's going to happen here uh, in, a, in, a, in just a few months' time, uh, by the end of September, is, uh, is the the crediting uh, that you receive for putting electricity, putting a kilowatt hour of electricity mm-hmm. back onto the grid. Right now you get full retail value for that. Um, it's going to go to a, uh, a wholesale um, uh, amount. And, and okay. so um, what that basically means uh, for the end user is that it becomes a little bit less profitable uh, to be putting energy back uh, mm-hmm. onto the grid and uh and so it's uh it's an important time uh, here in arkansas that if you if you can at all take advantage of net metering 1.0 mm-hmm. you get grandfathered into that oh okay uh, yeah by doing it before the change so those are um 
uh, the the two policy areas there, and uh, and yeah, it's it's been a long battle. I probably most uh, most of the listeners and viewers here may not uh, may not know about it because it happens in the background with the legislation mm-hmm. and the utility companies, you know, mm-hmm. lobbying for for change and lobbying against uh, against the uh, uh, freedom to to choose solar for homes and businesses. So it's been going on in the background, but uh, um, and and. I just feel that uh, many homes and businesses will miss out mm-hmm. on that change. Um, it doesn't doesn't kill the industry, as, as you know. It's still mm-hmm. very yeah. strong oh, yeah, in California. Yeah. And still- it just changes, uh, just changes a little bit of the metrics and the numbers. Yeah, and I'm sure it will continue to change mm-hmm. in yeah. down the road as advancements, as new things kind of go on there. And I know you mentioned the federal tax credit side. Mm-hmm. Can you, you know, what is that currently yeah. as far as that benefit. Yeah, absolutely. So on on that side, there's a a 30% federal tax credit. So 30% of your solar system cost uh, can come back to you as a tax credit. That means reducing your tax liability, what what you're liability to the federal government. So the catch there is that you have to have federal income liability. You have to pay federal taxes. Um, And uh, and, uh, so that, that Amount is is just thirty percent of of your um, investment in solar, and uh, I, I will note. I think uh, one common myth is that um, you know, I, oh, I won't get that back in the first year. Or I need to get it back in the first year. Mm-hmm. Most of our clients take two to three years to uh, give that thirty uh, percent tax oh, okay. credit back, and uh, so that simply reduces your liability for the next two or three years there. Um, so I think that's kind of a common myth out there related to the tax mm-hmm. credit. Yeah. But it doesn't expire. It, it rolls over. Oh, okay. okay. And, uh, and you can use that uh, tax credit as long as you have the yeah. federal income liability. No, exactly. So I think, oh, again, there's just, obviously there's financial, you know, policy changes, mm-hmm. you know, benefits that kind of go with that. And there's also some, you know, just, um, you know, other benefits, you know, for, you know, your home, like whether you're a homeowner, whether, you know, uh, now they actually look pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. They look cool. Um, um, you know, environmentally friendly. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, it's a great way for the environment. You know, it, it, you know, it helps, um, creating your own that way. If the, for some reason, the grid yep. gets <laughs> knocked out or something like that, to have at least a, a, a source, They're like, Hey, well, we can at least kind of make this going exactly we do have an, an aging utility grid and, mm-hmm. and we've seen what what happens in in texas yeah now. yeah we are all in that texas oh my yeah. goodness i was so glad i was yeah not in that mess exactly exactly I, you know you hear all those horror stories right there's mm-hmm. like my they'll just spike mm-hmm. with this and then i was and then i did have power and i yep. did and, and it was just like um you just hear those horror stories yeah. and and as our publishing gets bigger and especially as NWA gets bigger, yep. right? Um, we we'll talk long. We'll talk about the strain of growth, but it was great. Growth is great, but again, roads, infrastructure, water, power, you know, oh, exactly all those type of things. You have to kind of grow, and so I think this is another great uh, option uh, of looking at solar and with that. And so when you're thinking about, so like you know, like so maybe we've talked about this. Like, yeah, I really like that. I'm, well, I'm curious about it. I know you're talking about you've developed some guides mm-hmm. on how to shop for solar. What, yeah. Why don't you tell me a little about these guides you're developing? Yeah, yeah, sure. So, you know, we had uh, Joshua and I, my business partner and I, were at the NWA Home Show here uh, recently. And and one of our biggest takeaways was that even people who are interested in it just don't have, you know, the the knowledge to make uh, an informed decision. Mm. And so uh, we've uh, really one of the the basis uh, foundation reasons for for. Good faith solar is is to be just an an, an educational resource, and so we've been uh, making several guides, uh, free downloadable guides, uh, just to 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 guide those uh, who may be interested in wh- wh- where do I even start, mm-hmm. what questions do I ask, and uh, and you know, how how should I even approach this? And so, for example, one of our guides is a how to shop for solar guide, like you mentioned, and uh, that gives you uh, uh, several questions to ask. Uh, different 
solar companies, uh, you know, different uh, salespeople, whoever you're talking to, different questions to ask them to kind of uh, gauge, uh, you know, the, the viability not only for your home or business, but just how you, how their their product or service may or may not be be a fit for you. And uh, so um, we do have those guides, and I'll be uh, coming out with uh, with some others as well. Uh, just there for for educational uh, resources yeah that's awesome and i think you were probably just naturally drawn to that as an educator yeah both of us as former educators and you know you know the, the teacher never goes away exactly. right you know exactly. like you, we want to help people we want to teach people want to share knowledge and, and and to an accessible forms that make sense to people exactly you know it's one of the reasons why i kind of made some books because i want to have books that are in writing you know because some people need to see it some people need to hear it mm -hmm. you know, like in a podcast oh, forum or talk about it you know over networking so again or whatever the the media may be you know teaching that is so important um and plus i also think for your business um i do think that gives your business some credibility because you're actually understanding the industry you know from like why you know what it needs to to have in for solar um what are the questions they to, to ask you know the also you know what about uh when it comes to sales people and you know because they might not or you say some things well there might be a a hidden fee or you know a, a warranty or we'll cover this but we won't cover this yeah you know all those type of things um um it's not that you know i don't want to say trying to uh get, get over somebody but it's just like Oh, I've got to mention or just same thing you just to know or ask about. Right, right. Yeah, and that's it. That's that's exactly it. You know, uh I I, I got a message from uh, from a gentleman I know from networking as well the other day. He said, Hey, I had a door knocker come by and, and he said this, you know, is is this true? And mm. uh and I said, Well, I you know, not that he was, you know, purposely trying to mislead, but it, it that wouldn't be the way I would word it mm -hmm. because it, it made it it made it uh and I'm sure folks have seen this on Facebook and everything, you know, is basically saying, oh, you don't pay anything. Well, if you don't pay anything, then solar's free, which we all know is, you know, not true. So, uh, you know, not that uh, there are there are uh, uh, good people out there, good companies out there truly uh, trying to make a difference and, and help their community and their clients. But of course, yeah, there's the uh, the bad actors um, out there that are looking for the quick bug, are looking to, uh, uh, you know, tell some white lies or not tell mm -hmm. the whole truth mm -hmm. so so yeah absolutely you know um um just uh having that education is is like when my students were in the class for yeah. you know is is just like you know here's here's a here's a guide here's here's mm -hmm. how we can uh here's how we can learn and i, I and i i believe and i've i've seen it experienced it over the years in in the industry that the more my client knows about it before I meet with them mm -hmm. and, and when I meet with them, the more, yeah, the more empowered they are to make the, the right decision. And, and I believe the, the more uh, inclined they'll be to uh, also choose a company or a service that, that provides yeah. them that without being pushing. Yeah, exactly. I think, you know, um, we all just want to be, we all want to make informed decisions. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, we just want to make informed decisions on things that we might not know about. And that's what I just love about what you guys are doing and your business model of just like, you know, we want to make informed decisions. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about your business. You know, we've mentioned the name a few times, we've about some things. Good Face Solar. Um, interesting name, right? So what? let's talk about that first. How did you guys come up with the name Good Faith Solar? Yeah, so uh, my business partner Joshua and I, who's a mate of our cams in, and we had started at the same large national solar company years ago, is where we had met, and um, and you know we had obviously through the years seen ways to do it right and seen ways to do it wrong, mm -hmm. and uh, so when we were kicking around the idea, and, and both of us are are very OCD when it comes mm -hmm. to. Uh, quality quality of of uh, of equipment you know not not all solar panels are are the same um and and certainly um quality of the installation it can be a lot of corners you can cut like in any uh, construction yeah, yeah. you know really any project industry. or anything in an industry so so when we were kicking that around you know we said you know we want to uh do what it says on the tin and and so good faith solar came about and and that hey this is uh we hold ourselves uh, to this uh, 
highest of standards mm -hmm. and and to do uh do right by the client and to act in good things that's awesome yeah. uh, you know just a really good name it's, it's a it's a it's a warm name to <laughs> you know pun intended <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. you know it's a friend it's a friendly name again it's like yeah. Yeah, but you know it, it's a and that's kind of catchy too you know the face or the yeah. Yeah, beyond it makes you kind of curious about what it is i might tell you immediately like you know just get your get your thing and then and, and and maybe at school how how are you doing soldering good faith and happy yeah. to share that so yeah so so what does your company actually specifically do mm -hmm. so why don't you kind of walk me through what yeah. good faith solar is doing yeah sure so so we are a, a full service uh, solar uh, installation uh, company so we, we handle everything from a to z from the initial consultation uh, the design mm -hmm. uh, to the install so it's us doing the install on the roof or, or on the property and uh, the all the uh, permitting that is associated with okay. that okay. and uh, and then of, of course um, the procurement of the uh, materials the equipment that we use so we we have uh, several different panel options of course there's battery options and inverter options so uh, we uh, source procure all that and and uh, and yeah, handle everything from A to Z. So a little bit, uh, a little bit of uh, that that OCD uh, coming in there. Uh, <laughs> but uh, but uh, yeah, we, we enjoy doing that. And of course, we also um, service uh, the systems if there's any issues or hardware mm. um, issues. So we've we helped out uh, folks here in you know Northwest Arkansas and, and around Arkansas um, that may have been installed by a different uh, solar company. Yeah. That company may or may not be around and responding to them. And so we'll uh, we'll help them out with uh, with what's uh, anything that's needed. To be. Yeah, and I'm, I'm sure like and the education goes with that. You know how to mm -hmm. make sure they're not using equipment right. Correct. Actually, understand you know what they're checking for and you know, those type of things. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, because so, yeah, it, it's different from like the oh, I just get my bill and I just pay that, and I don't know how it's working or not. I just, yeah, you know, but here you have to be a little bit more responsible and understand the system better. Yeah, exactly. I'm sure you guys would totally help with that. Too. Yeah, Absolutely. there's some some folks that don't know that uh, most systems have monitoring with it, and it's just as simple as setting up that monitoring, make sure the wiring's correct, and then you can see uh, you know how well your system's uh, performing, how much electricity you produce, and so uh, yeah. yeah, exactly. And so I know you do offer um, free consultation, right? Yeah, and free phone calls just mm -hmm. uh, just uh ask questions right and to see whether it's a good fit because i mentioned, you mentioned earlier that solar isn't necessarily the best fit for everybody right and you know why is that what you know yeah absolutely uh, you know a couple a uh, couple cases maybe we are you know we're in arkansas the natural states mm -hmm. uh we have beautiful nature and that with that comes a lot of trees but you know if we have a, a bit too much uh, shade on the uh, mm -hmm. on the home or the business or the property we may not have enough uh, sun you know energy uh, to hit those panels and produce the electricity that's uh, that's needed uh, so uh, so that's uh, that's uh, the main uh, area where we see it not be a good mm -hmm. mint um, is uh, is with that um, and in one of the guys that I'll be coming out with soon here, I, I give a little, uh, I give a little insight into how to determine that um, uh, with uh, pretty pretty simple math, but just how to how to take the numbers from your electric bill and mm -hmm. take the numbers from a solar design, uh, mm -hmm. you know, a bit of the software and and whatnot to uh, to get numbers of how much the solar will produce and tell you, oh, we need to take care of your whole electric bill. Well, here's a, here's a simple way to find out if if that is if that's in line with what we see from our data here in Arkansas to know if it's a, a good solution. So um so yeah, that may be uh, that's one area where it may not be a good fit. Yeah. You know, that's you know, I, again. I'm ex I'm just like listening. I'm fascinated. Like you know, like the the, the slightly sciencey part of it, and the, and the, but also the numbers and the the math side of it, um, and also just like the functionality and just that building that relationship with those clients, you know, um, potential customers, and just answering those questions. You know, and and, and clearly, and you can tell that you have a, like a lot of knowledge, a lot of passion to help the people, but also just trying to you know decipher, you know, this whole world of electricity and how it works and understanding that uh from a different perspective than your you know your typical utility company that you just like 
call them to be though. Yeah, right? absolutely. Uh, and, and look at that. So a lot of great stuff here, Kevin. Thank you so much for coming out here. I want to give it over to Adam. Um, he's got doing a whole bunch of amazing things. He just celebrated his first birthday here of the podcast world and a whole bunch of more things. So Adam, what do we got going here at the bridge? What's going on, Brian? There is so much going on here at the bridge. I can hardly see straight. We've had a huge couple of months. We've got new podcasts that are premiering here in the next couple of weeks. And we are just letting small businesses know that you don't have to give away the entire bank account to market their business. In fact, if you look at the bridge for marketing your small business, you're going to find that other than social media marketing, there is nothing on our menu that's over $250. I have no problem offering these specials because I know what they cost me and I don't have to badger small businesses with high prices and, and have them make the same decision that I had to make. You know, in turning a year old, what I've discovered is I've learned a lot of lessons in that year. And I remember my first week when I realized I had to choose between an office space to rent or marketing my small business. And I don't want any other small business to have to make that choice again. So we are putting real marketing choices out there for small businesses, and we're seeing real growth in this very aggressive market right now. So if you're a small business owner out there and all of this sounds good and you thought that high quality marketing, marketing was not available to you, I want you to reach out to me, Adam Robison, owner and founder of The Bridge, and we're going to show you what options we have. You don't have to buy anything. The consultation is free. I just want to make sure that small business owners like you and like Kevin have the opportunity to market your business if that's what you want to do. So Brian, thanks so much for giving me some time on your show. And I'll look to hear from people either on my phone number, which is 479-966-9840, or you can email me right here at the bridge. And that's Adam at thebridgenwa.com. Thanks so much, Brian. Thank you so much, Adam. Again, so many great things. I, you know, we're doing, I don't know, so many episodes, but hundreds of episodes now. We're losing count how many episodes that we're doing and uh, spreading the word to help all types of people in the NWA community. So thank you so much. So Kevin, we're about to wrap up the show, but I do want to ask, right? Uh, again, a lot of great information talking about the solar industry, the business and everything. Um, how do people find you? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And so uh, certainly our, our website, goodfaithsolar.com, uh, we're going to be continuously adding more there and adding uh, more uh, guides uh, there as well to download. And uh, then uh, social media is a good place to find us. So particularly Facebook and Instagram, mm -hmm. uh, really trying to uh, share uh, more insights and more photos and get to see what we do on the roofs and how the whole process yeah. goes. Uh, so those are great uh, places as well. And uh, of course, uh, like you like you mentioned earlier, you know, if you have some curious questions, you can have a five, mm -hmm. 10 minute phone call and just see if it's something that's even worth uh, your time. Uh, and uh, so you can give us a call 479-343-9586 or just email me at support at goodfaithsolar.com. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Kevin. So I love to, every episode I do, I love, that's my favorite part, is where I asked my guests their thoughts on doing business right. What do you got today? Oh yes, oh, you you uh, you probably already know my thoughts. There yeah. is I've been such a fan of of just hearing that. I, I remember when I heard it for the first time in, at uh, at networking at CRN here in Fayetteville, and uh, you know, doing business right is is just about doing right by the client. Mm -hmm. You know, I think a lot of our your listeners here and and viewers here. You know, uh, and, 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 and as I see a network and a lot of us can, can trust our gut. If we know mm -hmm. that something is doing right by the client. And, uh, so that, that's really what it's, what it's to me is, is doing right by the client. That's awesome. There you have it. Doing business right, doing right by the client, doing awesome things and, you know, in good faith right here with Good Face Solar. So thank you so much, Kevin, for being on the show today. Um, and again, thank you to our audience for tuning to Doing Business Right. And I hope you found this insights, this conversation valuable um, and to generating some ideas for you know you personally, for your business, and generating innovative ideas to foster the development and growth of your enterprise.
For further knowledge on effective visit practices, as well as seeing other episodes, visit my website at dbrbookiebean.com. Stay updated with the latest tips and news by liking and following uh, us on Facebook and LinkedIn at DBR Bookkeeping and DBR Publishing. Again, I do have some books out there on Amazon that you can check out. Just search DBR Publishing for Entrepreneurship, right? If you're interested in sponsoring a podcast or the second opportunity, again, Adam mentioned it. I want to mention it again. Please don't hesitate to reach out. It's a super fun way to to talk, connect, get out there, um, and get share what your knowledge um, to your potential clients and the people that you want to c- connect with. So I would be thrilled to collaborate with you. Come talk to me or come talk to Adam, and we'd love to chat with you. Um, cause we are growing. It's uh, been a year plus, uh, I'm approaching almost one year with, de- uh, doing business right. And I'm super excited about that little kind of milestone myself. So without further ado, I am your host, Dr. Brian Rea, and I wish all entrepreneurs and business owners the utmost success by doing business right. Thank you for listening to doing business right. For more information about doing business right with Dr. Brian Rea, visit our website at dbrbookkeeping.com. Thank you.